He had two snaps against Colorado. He had three series against Oregon and one snap against UCLA. <laughs> Here's Leinert deep in the end zone. Touchdown! Matt Leinert's first completion as a collegian goes for a touchdown. And he went to the right guy. A huge wide receiver. Mike Williams is six foot five and every bit of 230 pounds. He was in the slot. He ran the slant. And he's a huge target in there. He's as big as most tight ends. This is it. This is the beginning. Not the beginning of the infamous 2004 season but the beginning of a historic three-year run for one of the most electric CFB teams of all time. So congratulations to Pete Carroll, his staff, and all of his Southern California Trojans. They win the Rose Bowl 28-14, to 14, and they will claim at least a share of the national championship no matter what happens in New Orleans. Fast forward to the end of the 2003 season and USC is co-national champions with the LSU Tigers. Carson Palmer is now off to the league and Matt Leinart will finally have his time in the limelight with Reggie Bush right alongside of him. Going into the 2004 season, the USC Trojans are ranked number one in the AP preseason poll and will face an unranked Virginia Tech in the first game of the season. The game was a breakout performance for the triple threat Reggie Bush as he racked up yards at running back, wide receiver, and special teams returner. He had three touchdowns and 198 total yards as USC took the W in a low scoring 24-13 game. The Linear bush connection was now in full swing as UFC set off to prove the preseason polls right. By week 5, the Trojans had rolled through almost every team on their schedule, with one exception being a hard-fought win by three against the Stanford Cardinals in week 4. While Bush and Leinart were large contributors to the team's success, the offensive line was dominant with three out of the five linemen getting drafted in the 06 draft class. The other side of the ball was crushing too, with six total defensive players getting drafted across the 05 and 06 draft classes. Halfway through the season, the Trojans would face their toughest opponent on paper, an Aaron Rodgers-led California team. They were the only ones to take down the Trojans in the previous year and caused them to have to share the 2003 title. It was a hard-fought game, and eventually USC stopped the Bears on their last drive to win 23-17. This was the only loss that California had in the regular season and was a statement win for USC as they continued to prove why they were initially ranked number one. One of the Trojans' final games of the season would be a crosstown rivalry game against UCLA. From the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, the 74th college football game matching the University of Southern California Trojans and the UCLA Bruins. And there's nothing ordinary about this one. The Trojans have been ranked number one in the polls all season long, need just one more win to head to the BCS championship game. The Rose Reggie Bush had an outstanding performance this game as UCLA was able to shut down line art. Bush had a career-best 335 all-purpose yards as well as a pair of touchdowns. With the victory over UCLA, USC clinched a spot in the BCS National Championship game in the Orange Bowl where they would play the number two Sooners. This game was the first time that two Heisman Trophy winners had faced off against each other in a college football game with Sooners quarterback and 2003 winner Jason White facing 2004 winner Matt Leinart. The Sooners would end up scoring first, but this would be followed up by an outstanding performance from USC. By the time the first half of the game was over, the score was 38-10 to and USC would continue this route, winning 55-19. to Leinart would throw an Orange Bowl and USC tying record of five touchdowns. We were up early. Um, it was started out good and then we just kind of the onslaught happened. We had a good lead, but in those games, you know, football, anything can happen. You know, you get a couple touchdowns, a couple turnovers, and it's a new ball game, especially with the guys they had with AP and Jason White had won a Heisman. They were really talented. We knew we won that game at halftime. I remember standing there. It was like a big sliding glass door. They walked by us, and we were, we were like barking. I wasn't, but, you know, the guys who were loud on our team barking and and, talk, and, and doing the chance that we had. And they, I mean, I'll tell you what, they looked like they didn't even want to step out on the field. They just, heads were down, 
like get us out of here. And then in the second half, they were like, they wanted us to run the ball so we could, so they could just get home. And we were like, this is in the national championship game. In 2006, both Reggie Bush and Matt Leinart entered the NFL draft. Bush would be selected second overall by the New Orleans Saints, with Leinart getting picked at the 10th spot by the Arizona Cardinals. Despite having tremendous success in college, only one half of the USC duo would pan out in the NFL, this being Reggie Bush. In the first game of his pro career, he amassed over 140 total yards against the Cleveland Browns in a 19-14 victory. While his pro career did have many low points, it is treasonous to call him a bust. In Arizona, Leinart suffered season-ending injuries in his first two seasons that he was never able to fully recover from. He would stay with the Cardinals for only four seasons primarily as a backup to veteran Kurt Warner. In 2010, he was dropped by the Cardinals and picked up by the Houston Texans. In 2013, the Buffalo Bills would then pick him up and release him shortly after. He would never play again after a disappointing six-year run in the pros. On June 10, 2010, the legacy of the 2004 USC football team was heavily blemished and would badly hurt that present team's chance for success for years to come. The team's 2004 BCS title was stripped after a four-year-long investigation done by the NCAA that stemmed from an investigation on Reggie Bush in which there were allegations of him receiving gifts and money from 2003 onwards. Bush ended up relinquishing his 2005 Heisman Trophy after reports that the Heisman Trophy Trust would strip his award. The NCAA then took 30 scholarships away from USC over a three-year period and banned them from bowl games in 2010 and the 2011 seasons. USC was also given four years of probation and forced to vacate its last two wins of the 2004 season, including the 2005 Orange Bowl, as well as all of its wins in the 2005 season. This is considered the harshest repercussion the NCAA can hand to a program, short of invoking the death penalty, which was last used on SMU in 1986. The 2004 USC football team was undoubtedly one of the greatest teams college football has ever seen. With two future Heisman winning players on the same team and coming off a 2003 BCS title, this team was expected to perform and they did just that. 13 straight wins without a single loss and a title game blowout over the number two team in the country capped off their perfect season. A stripping of their title in 2010 made this team all too infamous and one that will go down in the history books forever.